going. Today I am packing for London. I'm heading to London in a couple of days for a week and I am only taking a carry-on suitcase. I have not done that before. I have always packed checked luggage and so I'm up for the challenge. It's going to be interesting to see how I can fit everything into this little suitcase and I do have another little carry bag as well but uh, I'm going to go over all of the packing and then also some of the things I like to do to prepare for a trip away and then also the things that I like to do to prepare for my return because I like to come home to a really clean organized space and so far I have only picked out one item that I'm definitely taking I'm gonna go and grab it I have my black longchamp bag that I'm also gonna be taking with me and then this sweater here it is this really cute striped sweater I picked up a couple weeks ago from H&M and I love it so that is guaranteed to be coming with me outside of that I have no idea what I'm taking but the first thing I'm gonna do is go and put on a load of washing I am now starting to wear clothes that I will not be taking with me although I may wear this hoodie on the plane but I need to do that get those clothes clean so, and dry so I can start packing them and then I'm also going to clean my makeup brushes because I like to do that before I head away anywhere yesterday I did the light load of clothes so today I'm going to be doing the docks I keep forgetting to put in the little strips. I always close the door before I do it because I'm used to using the, uh, what do you call it? The liquid that goes in there. I was just about to get in and do all of my, uh, what do you call it? Makeup brushes and Liz rang me and she wants to go for a little bit of a walk So I'm gonna go for a walk with her and while I'm out I'm gonna go to shoppers and pick up a couple more toiletries that I need and then uh, She asked me if I have any PowerPoint adapters and I realized I actually don't have any so she's gonna lend me hers So I need to pick those up go for a bit of a walk go to shoppers and then I can come back I'll hang out that washing and then start packing the clothing part of my suitcase I just got back. I grabbed some Oreos because I felt like it. And I also got a little milk because I'm out of milk and I just want a little bit uh, before I go for my coffee and my tea. And I think I'm gonna make a tea in a second. I got the adapter, so that's done. And then from Shoppers, I picked up some makeup remover wipes. I don't really love makeup remover wipes, but they're great for traveling. I also grabbed a mascara because I accidentally bought the waterproof version. Actually, no, this is the old one that needs to be thrown out. This one also also is finished but I accidentally bought the waterproof version and I hate it so I wanted to get the regular one and then I grabbed a new foundation because I feel like mine may run out while I'm away and then also a mini deodorant as well so I think I'm set now I just have to start putting things into the containers first of all I'm gonna fold all of the washing from yesterday and then hang out all the washing from today wash my makeup brushes. These are the only six that I take. I'm very minimal in my brushes and my makeup collection. Next up is collecting all of my makeup. I don't know which one of these is the new one or which one's the old one. I think that's the new one. I 
think I'm done. I'm pretty sure this is all of the products that I'm gonna be taking. So I've got makeup remover wipes, my travel loofah, deodorant. This one's foundation, uh, face cream, face wash, hair heat protectant cream, and then shampoo and conditioner. I have my contact lenses, and these don't have to go into the liquids bag, even though they're in solution. It's because they're sealed, so they can just go into my regular bag. I have two of these. My hairdresser in Melbourne gave them to me, and they are so good for traveling. I don't think I need to take both. I guess this trip I can just take one. And then in terms of makeup, I have some eyelashes, eyelash glue, brow product, mascara, colored lip gloss, and I also have a lipstick in my bedroom I need to pack, eyeliner, bronzer, fresh face sponge. I will put my makeup brushes into this bag as well when they are dry. And then I was thinking of taking this palette. This is the only eyeshadow palette I own and it's a mess. Crystal gave this to me back in 2020 and I have been using it for the last two years. A lot of it is done. I can't wait to finish it, but it's falling apart. It's an absolute mess. And I was thinking that maybe on the way to the airport, I may stop in at Sephora and pick up a little small palette that's probably about this big. There's one from more that I've been eyeing off to sort of replace this one. And it might be time to take that so I don't have to take this giant thing and risk getting eyeshadow everywhere because some of them have fallen out and just made a mess. So I think this one can go back into my makeup box. I've made a little bit of progress in here. I've got a sweater, a couple of pairs of socks, some bodysuits, some pants, and another top, but I really need to get on with it. I'm not gonna be able to pack the other stuff until tomorrow. I mean, I could throw it in the dryer, but I'll probably just do it tomorrow. It's the next morning. I popped some of the dark clothes into the dryer because I just wanted them to be a little less damp. I also showered and washed my hair, so now I'm feeling fresh. And I did an express tanning session. I did two hours of tanning. It's all washed off now, so I am good, but I added a little color to myself. I actually haven't fake tanned since before I went to Greece. I just didn't need to do it over the summer. And right now I'm trying on some jeans. I ordered these from Abercrombie. These are the 90s straight leg jeans, and I wasn't sure if they were gonna make it in time, but they did and now I'm stuck on a decision. These are the jeans I tried on in, I think like my last video when I was in the change rooms and I liked them and I decided I would, I would get them, but I ended up ordering the straight version and then this is the curved version. I'm not curved, I've talked about this before, I have a, a slightly bigger waist compared to my shoulders and my hips, but for some reason, the, these jeans make no sense. When I lined this pair up against the other pair, the entire curved pair is just smaller. Like it's even probably, I don't know if you can see, about this much smaller in both hips than the other pair. And I don't understand why, because I thought it would have been the same in the hips, just smaller in the waist. So these are overall a much more skinny fit compared to the others, which I really like. I kind of like that it's skinny and then straight at the ankle, as opposed to those ones that are kind of a bit more baggy. I need to take one of them with me. I think it's gonna be these ones. I think I like the fit of these much more. And I'm also wearing them with two different shoes. I've got my sneakers and then my black sock boots because these are the two shoes I will be taking with me. I thought I would would show you what I mean. So I have the regular straight at the bottom and you can see that the waist is smaller in the curve, which makes sense, but it's just also smaller in the hips and I don't understand that. Anyway, I think, yeah, top one it is. I'm gonna take the tags off and get that into the suitcase. I did make a little progress with packing last night. I tried to fit everything into my suitcase. This is all of the extra stuff I'm taking and looking at it, I'm worried I won't fit it in, but I'm sure it'll be fine. But what I've tried to do with this packing is make sure all of my pieces work together. So every single top that I am taking works with every single bottom and then I have one dress. So it just works. It works, it's simple, and it should all fit in. So I have this white bodysuit and I have the exact same one in black and I realized that almost my entire wardrobe is becoming Abercrombie and that's the same for most of my friends this year. We've just been shopping at Abercrombie so much because their stuff has just gotten really cool and it's such a good quality as well. So I have two of these, white and black. And then I've got blue jeans and black jeans. I have two pairs of leggings. One I'm gonna be wearing on the plane. The other one I'm just gonna be taking because 
It's what I just tend to wear around the place when I'm not going out or not doing anything. And then to match it, I have this crop top. I always just wear these plain tops and my leggings when I'm around the house. I'm literally wearing a green one and some black leggings right now. They're just my favorite. I also have a plain black t-shirt. The weather's very similar to here and I just thought if there's any day where it's just slightly a little bit warmer and I just wanna be wearing a t-shirt under my jacket instead of something long sleeve, I thought I would do that. I also have my new pajamas that I got from Indigo last week. If I do run out of space, the first to be cut will be the, will be the pajamas because I can always just sleep in a t-shirt. In terms of pants, I also have these beige pants from Zara. I really like these, so these are a little more, I guess, dressy compared to the jeans. And then the last bottom that I have is a leather skirt that I have from, this one's from Babaton. It's one of those pieces I can dress up with the, the boots or dress down with the sneakers, whatever I feel. I do love a long sleeve black bodysuit and a leather skirt in winter slash autumn. It's one of my favorite looks. All my underwear and my socks. I have my stripy sweater that I was talking about. I also have a black sweater. This one is a turtleneck bodysuit. <laughs> Also from Abercrombie, I got this one last year though. I also have this dress that I got from Mango last year and I can wear this during the day with the sneakers or I can wear it at nighttime with the boots. I also have one last bodysuit that's the, the deep V one, also from Abercrombie, surprise surprise, uh, that I bought the other week that's kind of more for going out at night times. I also have one thick knit that I'm taking with me. Oh my god, this is also from Abercrombie. <laughs> I bought this recently too. This is the checkerboard knit that I was wearing in my other video. And then I also have my blazer. This is from Kukai and I love it. I love it so much. And I just thought that this could be the thing that I chuck on during the day if I don't want to wear my coat or it's just a little too warm for my coat. So I think this is what I'm going to be taking. I do have a couple of tops on the ground that are um, slightly dressy as well that I was thinking about squishing in because they are a satin fabric and they're, they're quite easy to squish in. I'll grab them. Two that I have are these ones here. This little uh, cowl neck top with the scrunched up sides is from Dynamite got this one last year and then I have this greenish floral pattern long sleeve tie up blouse that I got from Chic uh, many many years ago now so I was thinking I might squish these in as well and as you can tell I have a color scheme I always seem to have a color scheme when I'm packing but it does make it a lot easier for everything to work well together when you do have some sort of color scheme bag is fully packed. I still have a bit of time to decide if I want to change anything, but I have all my clothes on this side and my curling wand. And then on this side, I have a few more pieces of clothing. I have my boots, which if you're wondering why my boots are packed in with my clothes and they're not, they're not in a bag is because I actually broke my last pair from last year and I found these at Winners a couple of months ago and I've never worn them. So they're clean, which is why I've packed them the way that they are. I've got my toiletries. And I think it's pretty much it for my little suitcase. Next up is my carry bag. My carry bag is my Longchamp Le Pliage Neo Tote. I don't know if they make this exact bag anymore. I'll try and link something similar, but I did get this a few years ago and I love it. It has so much room in it. I have my book, which I talked about in a couple of my other videos that I would like to finish on this trip. I also have my passport. I have my liquids bag. I figured it'd be easier if I put them in this bag rather than the suitcase. I have my travel adapter. I have a pair of sunglasses and I have a handbag. I've decided to just go with a plain black one because I think it will go with everything that I have packed. I just need to grab a bag, like one of the bags to put this in. My 
laptop in here, but because I'm not ready to leave right now, we're just going to pretend. Uh, this is my little pouch that I usually carry all of my documents in, especially over, you know, the last year or so. There's always been a lot of documents that we need. And then this is my little bag that I usually take with me. It's got some wipes in it, some antihistamines. And I think maybe I might just uh, fit my electrical cords and cables in there as well this time. I also think I will take my iPad this time as well. And then that's essentially it. It's actually pretty empty. Usually it's far more full than this. I've actually decided I'm not going to take this one. I'm just going to take the, the clear pouch. I knew I was forgetting something. I need a pen. I also need, well, I definitely need my headphones. I'm also gonna take this little bag. I like to wear this when I go for walks and whatnot, and it's so easy. There's a lip balm in there. But I also needed to collect my jewelry, which I did last night. I forgot to film it. It's just a couple of rings, earrings, and my, my other little watch, actually. I'm also gonna throw in this little bracelet as well. I don't know if you can actually tell in there, but there's still a fair bit of room. That is going to close up really easily, which is great. Usually this is overflowing full so it's nice that it's all together and I think that's pretty much it I think that's everything that I have to take one of the things that I really like to do before I leave is to clean my apartment the other day I did a bit of a clean which is actually going to be my next video it's the cleaning motivation video so right now I'm just going to put my dishes in the dishwasher turn it on wash anything else up by hand and then take out any of the rubbish because obviously I don't want to come back to rubbish having been left here for a week and and I think that's almost it. I think I'm pretty much done after that. So, dishwasher. Would show you the whole thing all together this is my outfit i have my coat my hoodie my gym leggings my sneakers i have my carry bag my suitcase and then my, my little bum bag i am actually not leaving for a little while i'm gonna go and have a shower and take my makeup off i don't like wearing makeup to the airport but i will be getting myself very comfortable for my flight later i just thought i would uh, show you it all together <laughs>